I've always loved music, but I haven't had an opportunity. I recently married. I have a almost two-year-old daughter. So when I started looking into options, I found the chorale, and they looked like they did the kind of music I was interested in doing, stuff that's more challenging than, you know, your average fare. Nancy Roblin was the second director I called, who basically asked me if I would come over to her home since I missed the main auditions. And yes, I was a little bit nervous, but frankly, after two and a half hours of singing, auditions really didn't feel that bad. I kind of just found myself as a member of this group without really even knowing what happened. This is my second season with Frederick Corral. I uh, was interviewed and did a rehearsal with the Corral, and it was a process that took several months, and um, here I am. They were so amiable and very welcoming, and it made me very comfortable, so it was good, because I've always been a Corral kind of girl. <laughs> Too often we see and have experienced performances that the audience is so concerned that the performers are going to execute, that they stop listening to the music. And what we're trying to accomplish here is a performance that infuses the performer with the music and the music with the performer. In that sense, the audience then experiences the music as if it was improvised right before them. In that mix, there's a message. The message comes to the poet, comes to the composer, and finally our interpretation of it. We hope you we hope you enjoy it. To really be satisfied as a, as a trained musician, one needs a challenge. And the chorale is for trained musicians who really are hungry for that, that opportunity. Even before we changed directors, under Nancy's direction, I think the group really came to excel in many ways. There's a lot of pressure on nonprofit performing arts groups like the Frederick Chorale to show actively how they're serving the community. And we do this, of course, through offering a high artistic experience to the people of the community. But I really don't think that broader strategic viewpoint is what drives the energy of this group. What it is, is the fulfillment they get from singing with one another. And I find Doug to be very individual, and I really enjoy his methods. He has a very specific vision for every piece, and he, he wants us to get there. Yeah. Spaces, yeah. That um, I wrote that song uh, dedicated to my my, my wife to be, but she and I met in the chorale, and uh, subsequently got married in 1999, and the chorale sang at our wedding, which is a wonderful thing for them to do. But in honor of the occasion, I wrote uh, the song called Spaces. It's based on the book of The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. There's a chapter in the book about on marriage, and it basically says that you know even though you're you're a, you're a wedded couple, they're you're still individuals and you should still have a little bit of separation between you. That sort of spoke to our hearts and, and so I wrote the song based on that. Um, anytime the crowd gets together to rehearse or to perform is always a fabulous time. Um, so I really can't pinpoint just one specific thing that stands out. I just love being with the group. Everyone here, um, from the very established people who have been here from the beginning, and there are a few, to uh, the people who are, who are new or like me, have been very warm. Just and wonderful people, wonderful friends that all look out for each other, care for each other. When somebody's sick, we make, make sure that they're taken care of with, with food and cards and visits. Do you know how some people have a church they consider their family? I think the corral, it's an addition to that. They have a motto, uh, sing and eat, because they do both very well. I learn a lot, I have a lot of fun, and I would strongly recommend uh, no fear or no nervousness should stand in the way of trying it out.